am so excited to be back again at the fifth annual, now I can't believe the fifth annual Hot Residence uh, Luxury Real Estate Summit, New York 2018. I'd like to first thank all of you for coming into this panel. <laughs> Round of applause for this panel. The reason I say that, <clears throat> It is really hard to get all of these moguls lined up and together in one room at the same time in the same city. All the infrastructure right now uh, is in downtown. You know, you have the, the arena. So, you know, if you're, if you're living in New York and you say, I want to go to a professional basketball game concert, I want to go see a, a, a Broadway show, I want to go to major train station, you literally have to go to, you know, five different locations in the city. I mean, downtown Miami has it all literally within walking distance, and, and of course, I'm going to throw in Paramount, the project we're building, uh, is literally in the center of that. I think you're going to see the greatest explosion is that connectivity in the north and south of the river, which has already happened, mm -hmm. and the other obvious neighborhoods. The, the binary shift is away from Miami, the beach to Miami, the city. So these urban neighborhoods, and of course, nobody mentioned David Beckham, who I love the guy and the oh, we all stadium loved is well. bringing, so that's another big thing that's happening in Miami. Yeah. yeah. I think the trend's going to be the redevelopment of these aged homes in some of the more affluent neighborhoods like the Grove, like Coral Gables and the like. And then for Manhattan, I would say, um, uh, I think the neighborhoods that, you know, are, their, their better days are even ahead of them. I think 57th Street going west, um, um, uh, you know, is, is up for greater growth. Hudson Yards is going to be a killer neighborhood. I want to thank everyone uh, on behalf of Oat Living and Oat Residents. Um, to me, it's it's you know the, a very humbling experience um, as a co-founder of this company to have people come from all over the country to come uh, to this event and um, it, you know to travel and take the time out out of everyone's busy schedule to come. And the last panel was great content, and I'm super excited for the Power Broker um, panel. And just one uh, special announcement: we have. Uh, a dear friend and partner, Olivia Sue Decker, who has now um, helped and she acquired our San Francisco operation and is, um, besides being a real estate tycoon and broker, now a publisher. So thank you, Olivia. The rule number one in real estate, as we all know, is location, location, location. So if you just stick with good locations, in key cities like New York, or Miami, or San Francisco, LA, we're all in the good locations. Um, then we're fine. I market my, you know, dip a little bit here, there, up and down, but eventually you'll be safe. I am Peter Grant. I write mostly about commercial real estate for the Wall Street Journal, but in my mind, everything is commercial, including residential. So I have, uh, so we'll have no problem uh, getting into uh, the residential sphere. I think LA has become a super global destination. Uh, and I think there's wealth from so many different places pouring into LA that it's really helping our marketplace. Uh, there's so much money out of China, Asia, East Coast is coming for our weather, Europe, that that drive is just really propelling our markets very good. All right, everybody, welcome to the Hamptons Power Broker Panel. Uh, we have a very elite lineup of Hamptons finest brokers here, and uh, we're about to get started. So I'm going to introduce all of our panelists, and then we'll just dig right in. Southampton Village, where right. we saw every Tom, Dick, and Harry come out and put up a house. Yeah. Um, then we had before we had 12 new construction, now we have 28. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is not really an oversaturation, it's, you know, but something that the market's going, wait a minute, I have a lot of options, I need right. to be careful with my price point. Should the Long Island Railroad put a bullet train in place that could get you out from Manhattan in 45 minutes, it would obviously clearly transform the Hamptons and make it part of the suburban sprawl of Manhattan. I kind of feel like it really almost is already a suburban sprawl.